video, let's talk about the Gilman reaction and reagent, okay? And the idea is that, first of all, we're going to talk about how to make the Gilman reaction, okay? So, simple, I could use any you know, alkyl halide. So, in this case, I'm going to use, uh, you know, this alkyl halide, okay? So, the idea is that I'm going to take two moles of, and let's use this one, okay? I'm going to take two moles of, of this compound, okay? I'm going to react it with two moles of lithium. And what the lithium does is that it displaces my chlorine, okay? So my lithium uh, will just attack and displaces my chlorine. So I get two moles of one propyl lithium, okay? And now I'm going to treat it with this special reagent, cuprosiodide, yeah? And once I treat it with cuprosiodide, I'll get what's called the Gilman reagent or so copper alkyl reagent, okay? So it looks something like this. Okay, so this is how we draw it. Now, in terms of how the structure actually looks, I have a copper, I have a lithium. My lithium is positively charged. My copper is negatively charged, and it's bonded to two of these. But just know for the purposes of the Gilman reaction, only one of these will 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 will, will serve as your nucleophile. And so what happens now is that this bond, okay, this bond is very uh, these pi electrons are very nucleophilic, okay? So, the, so to create a reagent, this is what we created, a very nucleophilic uh, um, pi, um, uh, um, single bond. And so if I'm looking at this, if we take this reagent here, okay, and I add some sort of, um, in this case, you know, an alkyl chloride, okay? Some sort of SN2 target, okay? these electrons in the in the in, in the single bond will be very nucleophilic and so it will serve as the nucleophile attack the carbon and displace my chlorine and so i form a new carbon carbon bond so okay so this would be the molecule that i get okay now the same is true i could also do these with um with with um you know Acid chloride. So if I take the same reagent okay, and I react it with acetyl chloride, okay, again, same thing. Pi, pi electrons, very nucleophilic. I'm going to attack, I'm going to displace my chlorine, okay. And so I form this, okay, from 2 pentanol. Okay, let's look at another example. So, what about this? Let's create the green, uh, the the not green yard, the Gilman reagent for this. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, okay, so if I'm looking at this, I could treat this with. Uh, I could treat this with two moles of lithium, okay? I'm going to displace my bromine, okay? I'm going to displace my bromine, and then I treat this with, okay, so I get two moles of this, okay? I take two moles of this, okay? And then I treat this with cuprosiodide. I'll create my Gilman reagent. Okay, so I'll create two moles of this, okay? And let's treat it with an, an, an uh, you know, an SN2 target. So maybe this compound here. Yeah. So again, uh, again, the, the electrons in this bond here is going to be very nucleophilic. So it's going to attack and displace my chlorine. And in that sense, I formed this. Yeah. Okay, so in the process, I formed this. Now, what is this? This is estrogel. Estrogel, 
estrogel. Yeah, this is in basil oil. So we form estrogel. So again, we form the Gilman reagent and then we just treat it with any primary SN, uh, SN2 target. They also work well with acid chlorides. Now, another thing that the Gilman reaction uh, is useful for is when we react these with alpha beta unsaturated ketones. Okay. Now, in case, if you have not learned about this yet, the, the carbons, uh, the 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 hydrogens adjacent to my carbonyl compound, we, we decide we define those as alpha. And then we have the beta carbon right adjacent. All right. So it's the the uh, the 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 proton adjacent to the carbonyl is our alpha proton, and the one just down below is the beta uh, proton. Uh are the beta protons, okay? So another thing that a given reaction is useful for is and let's use this reagent. Okay, so let's use uh CH3, two moles of that in Cooper's lithium. Okay, so if we take this Gilman reaction, if we take this Gilman reagent and react it with it, we form this compound here. Okay, now let's take a look at the, the let's take a look at the mechanism. Okay, now it turns out that this reaction is selective for the beta uh, car uh, for the beta carbon okay so if I take this alpha beta unsaturated ketone and I react it with okay and I react it with this molecule well these electrons will serve as my nucleophile and it's going to attack the beta uh, carbon so it's going to attack Okay, now once it attacks, I'm going to bring these electrons up here, form a double bond. I'm going to get the enol resonance form of the structure. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, so if I'm looking at this, now we form something that looks like this. Okay, we form something that looks like this. So this is our enol form. Now this is in equilibrium with this compound, vice versa, right? I could bring these electrons down to reform my ketone. <coughs> so I bring my electrons down, reform my ketone, I have a negative charge. Well, what's balancing it out? I have a lithium that has a positive charge, okay? And I still have my CH3 out here. So this is a resonance form. Okay, and these are in equilibrium. Now, simply we just do some acid workup, okay? So we treat this with acid, yeah. Very basic now, so it's gonna grab a proton, okay? Let me sure draw the H3O plus out. D grabs a proton, we reform water in solution. And so we get the product to be this. Okay, so again, with alpha beta unsaturated ketone, uh, this reaction also works well. Okay, uh, conjugate addition, which means that we, we need some sort of double bond, say alpha beta unsaturated ketone, and, and, and we'll get our final product.